To celebrate our 20th anniversary of Lakeland News, we are taking a look back at some of the memorable local stories we've covered over the years. We're calling it 20 for 20, 20 stories in all, one for each of the 20 years we've been on the air with Lakeland News. Now, 2010 will be remembered as the year of the Wadena tornado. A massive EF4 tornado cut a quarter mile path of destruction through the city. Fortunately, no one was killed by the storm, but more than 30 people were treated for injuries. The tornado was over one mile wide at its peak and carried winds of up to 170 miles per hour. It was on the ground for about 10 miles and severely damaged the high school and more than 200 homes. Reporters Josh Christensen and Jenny Day provided us a team coverage look at the devastation in the Wadena community. All around me, there's nothing but rubble and debris and buildings are just leveled. But city officials are confident that they will be able to rebuild the parts of the town that were hit by this tornado. This video really doesn't do any justice to the amount of destruction this city has seen. So far, there have been 817 truckloads full of fallen trees and debris. The tornado that struck Wadena was one of a cluster of tornadoes in Minnesota that day. 48 tornadoes in all were recorded, the most in state history. The Wadena High School was rebuilt and reopened a little more than two years later with a storm shelter that also doubles as an extra gym. The reporters who did the stories, there were Josh Christensen, who is the assistant sports director now at KCRG-TV in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and Jenny Day, who's now working as a main weekday anchor in Yuma, Arizona. And you can watch those stories on our website, lptv.org, tomorrow. Next Wednesday night, we take a look back at a story from the year 2011. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.